Hey, back again on the 65 Thunderbird convertible. Man, it seems like I was never going to get to say that again, but here we are. Anyway, we left off on episode 58 uh, doing the floor pan underneath the seat pedestal where I made the floor pan and getting ready to install it. So in this video, I install it even though the footage was taken quite some time ago. Uh, it's still good footage putting in the shows me welding in the foot the the floor pan and explaining some steps going forward with this uh, with this vehicle so hang in there and uh, I'll show what I've been doing in preparation for the future work on this vehicle which there is future work on this vehicle I'm not giving up on it it may seem that way but I haven't all right let's get into her all primed up and uh, holes are drilled, plug weld holes. Holes are drilled, I opened up those holes for the seat bolts. Got some whole uh, plug welds for the inner structure there on the underneath, and that's for the frame rail. And primed in the places that it's gonna go in uh, touching the metal. So this will be between the frame rail. This will be hidden forever. And then this will go underneath the uh, inner structure, hidden forever as well. The rest I can deal with when I'm ready to do the rest of the floor. But that's ready to go in, so that'll be the next step, getting it fitted. There's quite a bit of uh, trimming to be done. Um, we'll deal with that. I may take more off the back floor here, because uh, just get make sure it's into good metal. I know that's good metal there, it's brand new. And there'll be some trimming on the replacement panel up there, because I'm not gonna take any more of the hump. All right, so let's get her put in. You might have noticed how I was doing that. That's called the, uh, it's a cutting butt. If you watch Tony Fitzpatrick's uh, channel, Fitzy's Fabrication, you'll notice he does a lot of that. It works well. Uh, I had to cut out the piece that goes under the frame. I almost forgot to do that because I would have buried that in. So I, I realized that once I started, so I had to go underneath and cut that section out. That's it right there. I'll use that for something else. But yeah, you can't have stuff that you can't get back out, so you make sure you clear it up first. So, I gotta change my uh, wheel on my uh, zip cut, and then I go start doing this side, and then under here, I'm gonna have to do it from underneath. So at least cut it out, so I can weld it. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna go over here, and then I gotta curl up the tunnel and do the same over there. So it's going pretty good. The uh, floor, the seat pedestal itself will keep this stuff solid down. Um, but before I do that, once I get it all welded in, I'm going to have to clean out these spot weld holes or plug weld holes. And I use this just to align the, with, the, with the frame rail underneath. So that puts the seat right where it's supposed to be. And then once I get all that done, I'm going to give it a coat of uh, red oxide because this is where the pedestal will have to be. So I'll have to get right up over top. All right, enough jibber jabber. Pitter patter, let's get at her.
That's looking better. Some more welding to do, uh, but she's looking pretty good. I'm gonna grind it all. I wanna weld it from the other side as well. Double weld it, so I'll, I'll double weld it before I grind it. Give lots of uh, place for the heat to go. And a couple more uh, plug welds to put in down there, one at least. It's looking pretty good. All right, that side's in. It looks pretty good, it needs to be ground down and everything. Uh, I started making this side about halfway through making the panel. It's going to be the same procedure as all that. There's really not much to see. So I didn't video it. Um, but I have a few other things I need to do uh, over there. I'm working on, if you can see it, I get up here a little higher. I'm working on taking the aprons off the front of that uh, 65 Thunderbird hardtop parts car. Get over here, what a mess this is. I've turned this place into a storage facility. So I've been in the process of taking the aprons out. I've got one over there on the floor already. It came out of this side. That's going to be video right after this. This is episode 59. I believe the apron removal will be 60. Um, yeah, what a mess, like I said. Also have a couple of fenders here for the Jeep to go on. I bought a couple new fenders for that uh, 05 Jeep Laredo, so they need to be put on. Well, that's it. That's the rundown for the next few vi videos coming up. Um, and you might see the newest addition to our fleet here as well. Uh, we bought a little tow vehicle for our van. I'm going to leave that as a mystery uh, for now. Uh, I'm not going to start putting videos up of that new vehicle because I want right away, I will eventually, but not right away, because I want videos of this convertible and uh, that kind of thing. The convertible to me, needs to, we need to get back on it, get it moving, I've fallen way behind on it. Uh, maybe I had lost interest, not really. I'm still pretty interested in it. Uh, just so many other things. Anyway, uh, that's it for this video. Um, we'll get this, I'll get this floor pan in and then we'll get the uh, seat pedestal put, pedestal put back on. I'll do a video of putting that back on, but I'm not gonna do a video of welding this, this piece in because I just did the other side. The same thing, just the opposite side. So anyway, thanks for watching everyone. I hope everyone stays well and we'll see you in the next one.